Hey everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jeku Tio. In this video, we are going to look at the movement of meteoroids, asteroids, and also comets. First of all, do you still remember what a meteoroid is? Let's review a little bit. A meteoroid is small fragments of rock and metal that floats in outer space and they travel around the sun and they move freely because they do not have an orbit of their own because meteoroids is smaller in their size and also their mass they are very easily influenced by outer pull for example the gravitational pulls of the planets around them the moon or the objects that they are near to okay so because they are smaller they are very easily influenced because of that, a meteoroid has a chance of entering into our Earth's atmosphere. Okay, so when a meteoroid enters into our atmosphere, atmospheric layer, they change their name. It's no longer a meteoroid but a meteor. Okay, that's where meteor comes from. When it is in uh, it is located in the outer space, we call them a meteoroid. As they enter into our Earth's uh, atmosphere, we call them a meteor. Okay, so right now I would like you to rub both of your hands together. Oh, what do you feel? Do you feel the heat? Do you feel your hands burning a little bit? Well, the friction will produce heat energy. Okay, so same things go to meteor. As it enter into our Earth's atmosphere, it will start to have friction between the meteor and the air so when there is friction they produce heat energy and it will catch on fire it will start to burn and that result in a streak of light that we call a shooting star or a meteor okay so it is something that is beautiful if we get a chance that we catch it as we go out during night time Sometimes it is not only one meteor that enters into the atmosphere. Many at meteors can enter the, the earth at the same time and that will cause a meteor rain or a meteor shower. That is really absolutely romantic. So a lot of people they love to make a wish when they see a meteor or when they see meteor showers. Well, usually these meteors will burn out before they reach the earth so don't you worry about them falling on your head but you might still want to be a little bit careful why because some materials might be slightly bigger and they actually do not burn up and they can reach the earth and when they reach the earth then they change their name again they are no longer meteors but they are meteorites Okay, so let's review the different names of meteoroid one more time. When they are in the outer space, they are called a meteoroid. Once they enter into our sky or our uh, atmospheric layer that is in our sky, okay, they are called a meteor. If they do not burn up and they reach the earth, as you can see from this picture, a big piece of stone, they are called a meteorites. Okay, so meteorite that you see in this picture uh, is given a name. It is meteorite Hoba. It is one of the largest meteorites in the world and it is located in Namibia. Namibia is a country in Africa. And because of the impact, when the meteorite okay, reached the earth, it caused a collision, sort of. Okay, it fall into the ground. Okay, it will form a crate. Just like the one you see in this picture, it's a crater that was formed due to a meteorite impact that uh, happened approximately about 50,000 years ago. And it is found in Arizona, United States. The diameter is about 1.2 kilometer. Well, that is meteorite. Let's move on to asteroid. Well, asteroid move at an average speed of about 25 km per second. And as you can recall, we talk about asteroid belt. Can you still remember the location of asteroid belt? It is located in between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. Okay, but 
some of the asteroids actually has um, orbits or they orbit around the sun outside of the belt for example a few a few example is here uh, uh, Apollo Amor Athen and so on and this can be very worrying why because this orbit that is outside of asteroid belt has a chance uh, to be very near or even intersect with the orbit of earth what problem is there they can intersect our orbit well there's a big problem why because let's look at this diagram the pinkish or this is, is this red the red color here is the orbit of apollo okay one of the asteroid that is not found in the asteroid belt so this is their orbit and then the earth orbit this way so that intersect the orbit of the earth in these two points okay right here so if they do not meet that's fine but what if one fine day it so happened that the apollo is here at the intersection point and the earth is also there at the same time what might happen they might have a collision okay can the collision cause any danger to us absolutely the collisions with large asteroids can result in the destruction of living things on earth in fact some scientists come up with the theory or come up with the belief that our dinosaurs actually die okay or they extinct because of a collision between the earth and an asteroid long long time ago well let's move to comment comet actually move at the speed that range from about 10 to 70 km per second that's very impressive and where does comet come from we know that a lot of asteroids come from the asteroid belt how about comets they actually uh, comes from a lot of them come from Kuiper belt and Oort cloud where is Kuiper belt and where is Oort cloud let's look at the first picture here Okay, the Kuiper belt is just outside the orbit of uh, Neptune. Okay, the, the, the furthest planet in from the sun in our solar system, outside its orbit, they find a belt called the Kuiper belt. Okay, so if you look at the diagram on your right, this is a donut shape that is the Kuiper belt. How about the Oort cloud? The Oort cloud is almost like a ball, a, a big cloud that surround the whole, uh, that contain the whole solar system. Okay, that is the Oort cloud. So uh, it is believed that a lot of comets come from either Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud or the Oort cloud. Okay, when a comet gets closer to the sun, remember the comet has its own orbit, the orbit around the sun. So when they are getting closer to the sun, they will increase in their speed and then melt because uh, the sun is hot, right? So they will start to melt and it appears as if they have a very long tail. One special thing about the movement of comet is that as comet move around the sun in its own orbit, you will notice that the tail of the comet is always away, directed away from the sun. Why is that? Because there's solar wind blowing from the sun. The solar wind will cause the tail of a comet to be uh, away from the sun. You will never see the tail of a comet coming inside here. Okay, it will be always be outside because they will be uh, be be blown <laughs> they will be blown away from the sun because of the solar wind and also uh, if there is strong gravitational pull of outer planets it can also cause the comet to slip out of its orbit and that is when we will get a little bit worried because we will have a risk of a comet come and collide with us at a very high speed and that can cause some big destruction well i would like to congratulate all of you thank you so much for staying with jekutio throughout this whole year we have finished and completed all 13 chapters of form 2 so congratulations jekutio would like to wish you all the best hopefully i will see you soon okay bye 
If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.